two sides with four major European trophies between them, but in very different circumstances here today. First touch for Keith Earls, one of those who really knows his way around this sort of contest and keeping the ball alive in uh, unconventional fashion. Kilcoyne. Oh, he's going to go here. It's Shields. clearly an eye tackle. You engage the, the shoulder on the neck. There's no significant drop. There's no mitigate factor. Then that's a red card. I'm sorry. Oh. Shields, the Wasps captain, Direct contact sent off. off. And the field at the moment is entirely open. Monster with possession, no. Turnover ball. Ramar Poit is allowing for quite the contest at the breakdown. Here is the bourgeois. He's got Kivarigi to his right. Three men covering his Barbary. Stormy forwards. Well, that should get the juices flowing. Well, it was fitting that he finished it, Donica, because it was his impact at the outset that began it all yeah he's been immense you know we're only let's go, Red. Let's go. 31 minutes let's go. in but for big moments in the game and Murray oh, it back into that little pod in the middle oh, of the field and they've got an advantage while straying offside penalty on its way at the worst small in goal area but the ball is evaded everybody except Keith Earls <laughs> It's the story of this game. I mean, the option is there for a free play from penalty advantage. Initially, I thought, was the kick the right option? Munster had six players to his left-hand side. But you go for broke. Rule number one, don't let the rugby ball bounce. It does. And Keith Bells has a try, although Jimmy Gopper... What you imagine from this sort of field position? Very happy. Oh, dear. The kick charge down. Picked up and threaded forwards, and here is Burn at high speed and full of power, just denied. Two, diving on the man. They've got a penalty. Number two. Me, okay. Number two. Number two, dive deliberately next to the goal line on the, on the ball carrier. It's a cynical. Two. Diving on the guy and stay on the guy. Frost to the bin. The top level really putting yes, in a massive drives. performance, but that will be a big blow for this Wasps team. Yeah, slated as an injury as um, Munster looked to work something between the 10 metre line and the 22. And they're working very well here through Kilcoyne. It's been a driving force for so much of the Munster forward play. Carberry looking to slide past Bassett, but tackle is affected. And they're over the top of it and they've smuggled the ball away as well, Wasps. Watson puts boot to ball, and the chase is on. Conway. Dialende. Working that five-metre channel. Brought down by Nizam Khan. Oh, burn through the middle of the ruck, keeping it alive beautifully. Conway with the step, and just enough in the legs of Nizam Khan. Oh, that's an extraordinary clear-out that from uh, Peter Omani on Jimmy Gopeth as Farrell opens it up and here's Campbell racing into the 22 Patrick Campbell at the age of 19 on his senior debut for Munster is a European try scorer well, that, that was just a, the briefest of looks at the, the clear out but the, the overlap was very very effectively worked and Campbell took his moment Monster building all over again. Carberry. Campbell, the try scorer. Conway. Three men to beat. And back they go in enough numbers, and it's Mason. Who gets the grounding? Mingol. Good recovery there by Wasp defence, but it is all Munster at the moment, and they're really pulling the strings, playing left to right. Because that's having a real impact on Wasp backfield, so they're really having to scramble. Well, they're having to be inventive as well with the uh, the restart, but where's this going to end up? Carberry releasing Earls. Good tackle made by Wollstoneholm. There's a sniff of opportunity there with the broken field. O'Connor shut down, and it's Tumunga Allen who secured the ball. 
Great work, both defensively and over the ball at the Backwards. breakdown. That's gone in behind the defence, and it's going to be picked up here by Conway, who will stroll in. Midfield errors from Wasps, punished. Third try of the afternoon for Munster, and it's Conway. Well, you think it's some brilliant play there by Watts. You think they're going, but the option is actually on the inside. You've got Marcus Watson screaming for the ball from Carr. He throws the pass left. It doesn't go to hand, and Conway, early Christmas present. You said about being inventive earlier. I just thought the decision to go for the risky 22 dropout was the wrong one. You're under pressure, you've given Munster the ball back. Uh, real tradition and history between these sides. Munster look to take every point on the board they can get. Nicely won at the line out and storming through the middle goes Buckley. Another of the youngsters on target. Reminded me that he's his own father, so Scott's granddad played for Munster as well. And just finding that Two red back. wall in the way every time. Alfie Barbary, the only man on the was score sheet to this point. Here's Le Bourgeois though, and there's a second. He didn't touch me. He didn't touch me. They've grabbed one back. It's remaining. One man stuck. And they have always, always fought to the final whistle, as here today. But this is Munster's day. Backs against the wall, just how they like it. 34 players missing, COVID wreaking havoc. But today, old and young combining in a heady mix. A bonus point win on the road. And a new breed shining on the biggest stage. Full time in Coventry, Wasps 14, Munster 35.